Hey everyone, Brian and Jeff with WorkshopAddict.com and we're going to take a look at the new rigid 18 volt hammer drill driver model number R8611506. This guy is the new one with 1300 inch pounds. What do you think of that? It's a lot. It's kind of crazy when you think about where drills have come from and where they're at now. Uh, but what we're going to do in this video is kind of give you a comparison to the Milwaukee 2804-20, which is quite a bit smaller, wouldn't you say? Smaller in size, but as far as power, pretty close. So, But it is a significant size difference when you look at them. Uh, there, is a, there is a complete design difference or change, I guess, that I would say when you go from the Rigid to the Milwaukee, and you can feel it while you're using it. But some of the quick specs on the Rigid, as we said, 1,300 inch-pounds, it's a two-speed drill. On setting one, it's zero to 540 RPM. Setting two, it's zero to 2,000. Zero to 31,000 BPM. You do have a mechanical clutch, and you do have adjustments that are ambidextrous on this, on the side for drilling, screwing, and the hammer drill. Now, with that said, we started out with this doing something stupid that we would recommend that no one else does. We locked the two drills up. You really think that's stupid? <laughs> <laughs> it sure is a spark. It's entertainment factor here, guys. So we just put them together and we are breaking things flat out. We just continued to snap bits or snap different pieces that are in front of this. And it shows here that the Milwaukee is winning. But in that it, test, yes, but it does. And there's the rigid starts to turn the Milwaukee backwards and shuts itself off, and then the, the or yeah, then the Milwaukee takes over and, and starts just spinning. continually spins the so rigid backwards. So it's kind of how they're set up here. That that test is pointless. Although that case, check one box for the Milwaukee. If that, you that were was to just do it. for their viewing entertainment anyway. So either way, check one for Milwaukee. Okay. Hit one on okay. that, right? Yes. So then we're gonna move on to. Just spade bits, running them through. On setting high, we're using inch and a quarter inch spade bits going through womanized lumber. Not Did, really well, much of an issue. No, neither one of them. They both would cut out under certain circumstances, but they both performed adequate. At the end of the hole, uh, we would see one of them cut out here and there. In, at that point in time, we were running Milwaukee's five amp hour battery up against a rigid three amp hour octane. And we switched that out halfway through to a six amp hour octane to see if we could see much of a difference. Maybe, but we still got the same performance. So we're again doing equal work. It felt to me like it did have a little bit more performance, but is that a eye, hand, brain, you know, things telling you you've got a bigger battery, it's gonna work better? Or did it actually? Same, same thing. Still cut out, same amount of percentage basically. So on that one, it just was what it was. We then moved over to MDF board. And we're trying to take out all the variables now on what happens if you have different grain and what happens if you have not. So we're hoping that this takes everything out. And we're using a six and a quarter inch hole saw. This thing is badass. <laughs> And usually it is what tells us what's more powerful or not more powerful because after a couple cuts you'll get a thermal timeout or something. Usually it kills whatever we put it in. But in this case, uh, both the Rigid and the Milwaukee seem to have zero issue with it. And we continued to drill and drill and drill with it, hoping that one of them was going to see some sort of issue. And they didn't, neither one, just happy chucking along. So from there, we said, we're gonna get out the bit that we always have trouble with, binding up, it's a self-feed three and five eighths inch bore bit. And that self-feeding part tends to plug up at times and then once it does, you can't drill it anymore. It, it's a pain, we gotta put some pressure on it. And, and it, it's one of those things where we're trying to let the drill bit do the work rather than us pushing on it because then we start to skew what happens. And in this case, again, we are drilling through Happy Hunky Dory, both tools doing the exact same work. And not, at that point, we couldn't say one is better than the other. We have our <clears throat> feelings from drilling. We could, we could tell you, hey, we think this one drill feels like it has more power. And we can get into that slightly, uh, just when you're using and 
using the rigid, it feels, it's a much larger drill. Body size wise is a lot bigger. So when you're using it, you get a different feeling using the rigid. You don't feel every bump or twist or turn in the road. Exactly, when I was using the Milwaukee, it's smaller. I thought it was producing more torque, but it could just because of the smaller size where my hands were closer together, I felt more of that torque. But either way, at this point in time, we're gonna call these tests a tie because each one of them did all of the same tests at the same rate to a point with the same amount of cutouts if there were any. From here, we wanted to really put the two next to each other and say, look, what can we actually prove to you makes one drill more powerful than the other? And having that proof is going to mean that the one drill is gonna finish a task, the same task, faster than the other. So we got up some concrete. Uh, actually, this is an odd test because the Rigid has 3,100 BPM or 31,000 BPM and the Milwaukee has 32,000 BPM, both running on uh, level two, which both are 2,000 RPM no load. So this test here should flat out tell you that the Milwaukee should win because of the BPM. And it didn't. <laughs> By far. We even switched drill bits, did it again, because and we want to be completely fair. And the ridge is still still over. over. So we moved on then back to our MDF, because we're, again, we're trying to just make this very simple. One inch spade bits. The rigid every time. Every time, the rigid took it. Even when we just sat the drill there with no pressure whatsoever on it, the rigid beat the Noah. Yeah, so that's, that's <clears throat> telling us flat out that the amount of torque that the rigid has is keeping the drill bit speed faster and it is putting out more power, getting the job done quicker. So there is no doubt from our tests, absolutely no doubt that if you actually use these two drills in the real world, they will both do the exact same job. If you're counting seconds on holes being drilled, you, the rigid will win. You might be able to get a couple more a day. With that said, the rigid is a much larger drill than the Milwaukee. So when you're putting that together and you're looking at them with the handles on, it's easier way to see it here. We're talking about inch and a half. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that we did while we were looking at this was test out the light. We turned the lights off and we were using one of our big bore bits and the rigid light is impressive. It is, but it, it puts all your light right directly in front of where you're working. And with that big bit that we had, it kind of took up most of the light. It did. If you want your light directly on the area that you're working in nowhere else, this light works excellent. Yes. If you want your light in a large area so you can see all around what you're working on, the Milwaukee by far had a better light. Both seemed about equally as bright, just about the direction as to where they were going and how it worked. So no matter how you spin it, in this case, the rigid took the Milwaukee. I know a lot of guys in our contest that we had going out were guessing that the Milwaukee was gonna take the rigid. Some were guessing that the rigid was gonna take the Milwaukee. I had my money on the Milwaukee. At first I did too, but I think they are so comparable until we got down to the end where the rigid took over and speed. The tests at the end prove it, guys, the rigid took it. So. Uh, I think that's a great thing. It is a very comfortable drill. We were using all the octane batteries from three, six, and nine amp hour. And at the end, we were using nine amp hour batteries in both. So we were making sure that we were getting a very fair contest. However you spin it, congratulations, Rigid. You kicked ass here. So we appreciate your time watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and give us a like on this video. We appreciate it. Leave us some comments below about what you think about some of our tests and maybe what we could do a little bit differently. We'll try to incorporate that into our next videos. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.